Hello, and welcome back to Gate Show Crafts. I'm Sarah, and this week I have another recipe for you. Um, it's getting on to be mid-March, and um, it means tax season if you're a small business owner like we are. Um, yay! <laughs> but it also means that my birthday's coming up. So um, that's a great excuse to make something fun and decadent, and sometimes to try out a new recipe. Um, now this recipe is one that I developed um, pulling from a couple of other sources and drawing on a first-hand experience of having this particular cake at an event. A few years ago, um, some good friends got married and they had this absolutely delicious chocolate and vanilla wedding cake. So the vanilla, the cake was a white cake with a cream cheese frosting and then it had a chocolate ganache inside. And the texture of the cake was very different from cakes that I've made in the past. So this was a fun challenge to try to figure out. And the secret to this cake texture was to use something called the all-in-one method, um, which I think I discovered out of the Cook's Illustrated Cookbook. Their recipe for a basic white cake um, was pretty close to the texture of what I remember from this cake. So it's a little more spongy and almost chewy, almost the consistency of an angel food cake. Um, less of kind of a crummy, crumbly sort of cake um, that I typically make. And like I said, it's got a, a dual combo, um, if you will, of the chocolate ganache, which also has some coffee in it. And that is secretly sandwiched in between the two cake layers. So you don't see the ganache when the cake is whole. And then when you cut into it, you have this beautiful um, layer of chocolate waiting for you inside. And I love everything chocolate, so um, it's a great one to make. It is a little bit fiddly because there are three separate components you have to make, um, but it's not super technically difficult. I consider myself sort of an intermediate baker. Um, I don't do a lot with you know, crazy decorations or making candy or anything like that. So um, I think this cake is pretty approachable. Um, like any uh, baked good, you have to mind the um, amounts of the ingredients, pay, pay attention and make sure you're measuring accurately. And also make sure that when you're whipping the batter, because you, as the name suggests, um, the all-in-one method, you do put all the ingredients in together but you don't want to overwork the batter. You want it to be slightly chewy, but if you work it too much, you're going to get essentially bread dough and it's going to be too chewy and it's not going to lift um, during the bake. So just with those couple of tips in mind, I hope you'll try this recipe. As always, the um, complete instructions and all the specific ingredients are going to be listed in the recipe, which is linked below this video. And do let us know if you do try uh, the recipe, especially because this was one I kind of made up after I tried something somewhere else. So I was trying to replicate something from memory. Um, let me know what you think of it and how you like it. If you have any baking tips or suggestions, I'd love to hear those too. Thanks again for joining me and tune in next week. We'll have another interview for you. Thanks a lot. Have a great week.